welcome to Paranormal Stories. Today's case is Fernando's. The story is called an old Hamish farm. A farm is supposed to be a great place with beautiful animals that many people like to have at home. This place is even a vacation destination for some of its visitors. However, whenever a person has had a bad experience with some of the creatures that inhabit the farm, it is almost impossible to face them without feeling scared. As this tends to be something not too common, many individuals do not care about it or do not believe that it can become a real nightmare. Then, being in such a horrible farm is going to be something that Fernando will never forget. Robert, my uncle, was the kind of person who always liked to share with others. He used to live in a big house with everything necessary to survive. He also had a large and beautiful farm where he spent almost his whole life taking care of his animals such as horses, cows, chickens, bulls, etc. He used to live with his parents and his brothers. Fernando and his brothers loved to visit his uncle's house, but his biggest dream was to visit his uncle's farm. My brothers and I loved visiting my uncle when we were able to. Every time we went, we used to take all the things and all the stuff we could use to have some fun at his house. On February the 1st, the eve of Fernando's birthday, he was at home playing video games with his brothers. Suddenly, the phone rang. It was Fernando's uncle's phone call. I immediately threw the video game controller and went to answer the phone. Hello. Hey, how are you? Oh, hi, uncle. I'm okay. I'm still waiting for you to take me to your farm. <laughs> This day will come sooner than you think. It will be on a special day. Uh, really? Okay, I hope so. Bye, uncle. I started to get even more excited about visiting my uncle's farm that I imagined how it would look like many and many times. In childhood development, idealization and devaluation are quite normal. During the childhood development state, individuals become capable of perceiving others as a complex structure containing both good or bad, or bad uh, components. If the development stage is attacked by a, by a trauma during the childhood, this trauma may have like a mechanism defense that perceived into adult. Next day, Fernando woke up very early and he had forgotten that it was his birthday. I was watching some TV when my mom decided to sing a song for me. It was called a special day, uh, so I remember that uh, it was my birthday. After she finished singing, uh, since I was a little sleepy, I went to bed in order to take a nap. Some minutes later, his phone rang. I first thought it was a call, but instead uh, it was only a message. So I just took the phone and read it. Hi Fernando, I hope you are having a great day. I just wanted to say hi and to let you know that I have a surprise for you. If you want to get it, please visit me as my farm. I will be waiting for you. Happy birthday. This is the address of my farm. I couldn't believe my eyes. It was my uncle telling me happy birthday. But the most important part of the text was where he invited me to visit his farm. It was like a dream for me. I got crazy after reading my uncle's message. We became enthusiastic when we achieve a goal or when we encourage something that we like. It, it can be a food or it can be a person. Reading rate, heart rate, for example, are accelerated. On the other hand, I knew that if I told my parents about it, they wouldn't allow me to go. So I decided to keep it a secret. I couldn't wait anymore, so I made the decision of going to the farm the same night. <laughs> It was a rainy evening, so I decided to take a coat with me in order not to get wet. He 
he got prepared, had dinner and copied the address that his uncle had sent to him. Finally, he just waited for his parents and brothers to fall asleep and left the house. on the way to the farm and I was really excited. Uh, neither my parents nor my brothers have given me any gift for my birthday. That's why I felt really happy when my uncle told me that he had something for me. Finally, after a long way, I got on my uncle's farm and made the worst decision of my life. I entered the farm. Being in the farm, his mind, his body and his eyes got in shock for a while, but then he started walking and feeling a terrified breeze that froze his body for some seconds. Freeze means that you stop to doing something because you want to focus on the next activity that you are going to do. Uh, in this case, uh, you can either fight or you can fly, depending on your uh, emotional stimulus. I started walking and feeling a terrifying breeze that froze my body for some seconds. After that, I took a look at the whole farm and got, it was fairly big. I only got to watch the shadows of some trees in the distance. Uncle! Uncle! Are you there? I played alone. I could have found my uncle as I always took my phone with me everywhere I went. Sadly, I had left it at home that night. Mom? Is that you? I am here, Mom. Don't let me here, please. Please, Mom. It totally got me in shock. Our brains are so efficient that we began to fear a range of stimuli. That's something that is not scary. And that is called conditional fear or even for something that is not even present, and that is what it called anticipatory ancient. We get scared because what we imagine it could happen. After hearing that beautiful voice, he immediately walked to the stable to see the little girl. It came from an old stable where my uncle used to sit down and play his guitar. When I entered, there were only two sick and malnourished horses which were about to die. It was really awful. After watching those grisly creatures and realized that the girl wasn't there, he, completely scared, began running to the door in order to escape. But when he tried to open the door, a big tree fell next to him, blocking the exit completely. I didn't know what to do at that very moment. I started to cry and continued shouting my uncle's name, but he never answered. Crying might be one of the best mechanisms of self-suiting. Research has found that crying activates the parasympathetic nervous system, the, the PNS. The PNS helps your body to rest and digest. The benefits are in immediately. It takes several minutes of tears before you feel the soothing effects of crying. The storm became worse and his heart started to beat faster and faster when suddenly the storm stopped. Everything was in complete silence. Oh God, I think they are gone. I thought for a moment that the little girl of the sweet voice and the two horses have gone. So I was brave enough to continue walking. Then I started looking for a soft and dry place to rest for a while. Straight away, a strange roar made me open my eyes. When I turned my head to the right, the little girl was next to me. Her eyes were bleeding, her nose totally shapeless, and her teeth yellowish, or at least that was what I could see. After some seconds near a barnyard, I heard my uncle's voice shouting my name. 
Fernando, Fernando, come here. Here I have your gift. Then, as soon as I heard his voice, I headed to the barnyard to see my uncle. However, there was only a horrible and hairless sheep. I was getting more and more terrified after looking at that awful animal. I began calling my uncle again, but he didn't respond. Uh, then I started to think that I was not going to get out of that horrible place. Trembling with fear, I observed that there was a bowie knife on the ground. But as soon as I picked it up, I realized that there was a snake. Fear is a natural emotion and a survival mechanism, and our body has the capacity to act in different manners to this stimulus. Physical reaction to fears include sweating, a hair rate, and also can be a high adrenaline level that make us extremely alert. In the case of Fernando, he was terrified because of the unknown event. Uncle, uncle, uncle. Your soul will be the heart of hell. Darkness will impair your soul. It is so. He got really scared that he went back to the piece, closed it with some A and some tables around and laid one A again. I hit my head in my own shirt and closed my eyes. I began to pray God, asking for help, while the little girl continued singing. Your soul will be the heart of hell, darkness will impair your soul. I am here, Mom. Don't let me here, please. Please, Mom. This is your end. Fernando was astonished, frightened, scared, terrified, and everything a person could feel being in such a situation as this. I knew that I had no way out. I knew that anyone would come, tell me that everything has gone and take me home. He walked a few meters back and stopped whenever he saw something spilling on the wall. Only two minutes later, he had covered my knees. Afterward, he started to swim in the blood in order to get to the door. I had almost gotten to open the door whenever I watched something really weird moving in the pool of blood. What was that? Oh God, it's my uncle's hand. He opened the door after several attempts. I was far away from the peak time whenever I saw a light shining in the distance. First, it was only one light. However, as it was getting closer, there were two, three, four, and so on. After some seconds, I realized they were some people holding some candles. They were coming to me as if they were zombies, but even more horrifying. He headed to the front door where a big tree had fallen next to so it. Son, why did you do this? Why did you let home? Come here, help me, please, help me. I wanted to go and help her. God, she was my mom. She was my mom asking me for help. Nevertheless, my instincts drove me to keep running since I didn't want to live the same experience I lived being in the pigsty. When I got next to the door, I saw a ball covered with blood, rolling over the roof of a couch. God, it fell right next to me. It was my uncle's head staring at me. After that, a group of strange beings were coming to me, saying a creepy and horrible prayer in Latin. <laughs> Potentum tu 
I kept praying and asking God for help all the time, but it was clear that I was completely alone in that old hellish farm. Raven descending from the sky and landing in front of him. It had a letter in it big that said, Your family is now with me. They have gone. Only you are missing. I am going for you now. On the whole, I dragged myself back to the door when the fearsome roar echoed again. Then I could notice that it was a huge ox that came running really fast to me. The strange beings had also put some candles on the land, making the figure of a satanic beast. The soul was about to leave his body and to become the earth of hell. When the ox was about to hit him and stick its horn into him, he opportunely opened his eyes and woke up from such a horrible and creepy nightmare. I would have never believed that leaving home that night had been the worst decision in my life. This is how this story ends. See ya in the next episode of Paranormal Story. Bye!